What's going on guys, it's your boy Carl, we are back with another video on Newcastle Fans TV. Right, this one, your 5 minute rumour roundup. Let's get ready to get into it. We have 5 minutes to get through as many round uh, rumours as possible. If we get more than 5 rumours done in that time, then like the video. Smash the like button for me. Smash that subscribe button and hit that notification bell. You know what? Not five. We'll try and get through ten rumors. How about that? Ten rumors. If we do no more, no less. If we do no more than ten rumors, I'll do a forfeit. If we don't do it within the five minutes, let me know in the comment section below what you thought want that forfeit to be, and I will do it within a certain extent um, in the next video. So we've got five minutes to get through ten rumors. If we don't do that. Leave me a forfeit in the comment section below. We'll just wait for that timer to tick down before we start. I hope you're all well. It's been a long time since I've been on the channel, so I do apologise. But let's get into it with the first one. Eddie Howe has been nominated for Manager of the Season Award. The man deserves a knighthood, let alone Manager of the Season. He came in back in uh, December 2021. Newcastle United were on seven points with 14 games. Was it seven points? We hadn't won in 14 games. Now we're on 43 points and we're mathematically safe. He's broken records. He's made history at the club. The man deserves a knighthood, let alone the accolade of just manager of the season. Rumour number two, James Tarkovsky available for Newcastle United. It looks that Burnley's still in and around that relegation battle. It looks like it's probably going to between, be between them and Leeds. Everton may be just strong enough. Would you take James Tarkovsky at Newcastle? Is he any better than Jamal LaSalle? Is he better than Federico Fernandes? Not for me personally. I would much prefer the starting uh, partnership of Dan Byrne and Fabian Shaw. And I realistically don't think James Tarkovsky is any better than what we already have. Um... What else have we got? Rumours are that Eddie Howe is potentially talking to Newcastle United players with regards to transfer um, transfer um, ideas, for example. There are stories out there that he's listening to the likes of Bruno Gimaraes, um trying to talk Lucas Paqueta into coming to Newcastle United, which would be a fantastic addition, I am sure. Um, Newcastle United also appoint a new director in Majad al Sassour. I'm sorry if I've butchered the pronunciation of that. He's the current chief executive of Golf Saudi. Very um, interesting timing on this because Golf Saudi have a huge event coming up next month with regards to, um, uh, well, it is their, I believe it's their first event. And um, lots of PGA Tour players are currently trying to relinquish their contracts to play in this because if they do play in it, they're currently liable for fines and uh, and and bans as well. And I th the reason I find this interesting is because Newcastle United uh, have appointed him as a director, but are in need of a sponsor for next season. So it'll be very very interesting. And I'm almost convinced that Golf Saudi might be playing a part in Newcastle United sponsorship moving forward. It's talking about that, we have a new jersey, don't we? Apparently, transition. Jesus Christ, that took long. Paying homage to the Saudi Arabian nation. This has divided people's opinion across the Twitter sphere. It's blown up quicker than Kim Kardashian's arse on, with a night, um, on a night out with Ray J. Jesus Christ, I can't get my words out. What do you think of the shirt? I personally am starting to enjoy it. I do find it difficult to differentiate the politics from it. It is a financial ploy from um, PIF, I, I don't doubt. Trying to break into the market of 34 million people, trying to break the mould of Manchester United, Manchester City, Chelsea, Liverpool, etc. Huge revenue opportunity for them. If they all bought one, it would be a £2.1 billion turnover. We know that's not going to happen. Um, but it's a very, very interesting ploy and it will divide, divide opinions, and rightly so to a certain extent. But Newcastle fans will not want to be um, tarred with tarnished with that brush with regards to human rights in Saudi Arabia. I know I personally don't. But what can you do? It's a very, very difficult um, situation to kind of navigate as a Newcastle fan right now. Um, I just want to concentrate on the football as much as possible. There will be journalists trying to push out, um, you know, their agendas and, and, and their, their views on it. And that's absolutely fine. But just try and concentrate on the football as much as you can. Will you be buying the shirt? I personally will do. I love that Golf Saudi um, sponsor on there, by the way. I did the mock-up with a Golf Saudi. Stole the shirt idea. I won't lie, that. lie about that. Rumour number six is Eddie Howe looks to give Elliot Anderson potentially some first-team football next year. Very, very uh, happy with the, the, the youngster's performance. 
um, at Bristol Rovers. Uh, 19-year-old scored almost perfect rate, 9.96 rating on who scored with a goal, two assists and seven key passes as Bristol beat Scunthorpe 7-0. And Eddie Howe's vowed to take a look at him next season, which, you know, I think we'd all be very, very, very happy with that. Very happy with that. Um Miguel Moran wins Goal of the Month award for April with that fantastic finish. Um, it would be uh, a shame to see him go this season, but I do think that he might be made uh, a scapegoat for, for potential sign-ins as well. Um, it, talking of sign-ins, we've uh, got two striker... Um, Oh, I'm I'm I'm, lo- I'm losing it here, aren't I? I'm losing it. Two stri- two potential strikers that we're looking at, I believe, are um, Dominic Calvert Lewin and uh, Ekitike. E- 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 Still looking to 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 sign him, um, the 19 year old. Not only Dominic Calvert Lewin, but there's Darwin Nunes as well. There are reports that Darwin Nunes has had a uh, or the, we've made a 50 million euro bid for Darwin Nunes. Read into that what you will. I don't know how many rooms that is. It might be eight. So I might have failed on the first video. If I have, drop a comment in the section below with regards to what you want me to do as a forfeit. I've definitely fucked that right up. Ten was a lot. I'm pretty sure I've done eight. But this was your five-minute room roundup. Hopefully, uh, we, we've got some good information to you out there. Again, let me know what you think about this shirt. Um, it's it's growing on me. It is growing on me. And I know it's obviously going to cause... Uh, a huge divide and that's not what we want but what can you do um we're just football fans at the end of the day aren't we we can't be uh protesting against saudi human rights uh yeah i've I've got nothing else to say about that but it's been your boy carl it's been a very very interesting five minutes that was difficult if you like what you see please smash that like button subscribe to the channel we'll see you soon peace